Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. We've got Marla on camera again. Say hello, Marla. Hi. And today I'm talking about diorama. It's July, we're in the UK, and these beautiful Marla spin in. They call them angels fishing rods. Look at these little things here. Look at that. I don't know. Are you focused on that? Yeah. Yeah, you focused. Cool. And down here, have a look at these. And these are much taller plants, but we've got these beautiful pink things here. All right, you can sit down again now. But, um... We grow these and they take, this is a four year old plant. It's taken four years to get this to flower. Same for this. Some of them are quite tall. Look at that, Marla. Can you get people's look? Look at that. They turn into real big old beasts, some of them, and some of them are quite small. They are quite promiscuous. So if you get seed and it says it's going to be something, it might not necessarily be that. Um, but anyway, what we're doing today is we're going to be potting up our seedlings that I planted up about this time last year. So I'll get these out of the way and Marla, if you can spin in here a minute, the first thing we need is our potting compost mix. Very important. Now for this, I've used a lot of soil because Dirama love rich, rich soil. So we want some topsoil. Look at that, it's all sieved. Now I've got a bit of um, recycled grow bags. There's no nutrition in this. I've given it a bit of a sieve and Look at that, lovely. This will retain the air and the water. And also they like good drainage. So I've put in a good amount of gritty sand. Now I'm gonna mix all this up together. Molly, you can sit down if you want. And we're gonna mix like this. And once that's sort of all started turning into the same color, you know, it's pretty well mixed in. I've put a little bit of slow release fertilizer in here as well. They're quite hungry plants. They dry out like you wouldn't believe. They're so tough. They're also, sorry, I'm gonna ramble on about diorama a little bit here. They're also a little bit fussy about being moved. When you get one of these things, if you receive it through the post from me or something, pot it up, plant it out. If you're putting it in a pot, it's got to have soil. Get a soil-based compost or make your own like this with some topsoil from your garden and sieve it well. It, they've got to have soil, they love that nutrition. If you put them in normal um, multi-purpose stuff, um, they won't do well after a few years, even though it says it's full of all these sort of chemicals, but it's no good. Anyway, so we've mixed this up together. I And now I pick up oh, our tray of diorama that we planted up next year, last year. Now I've, I've dated it, Marlo, if you'd like to spin in and prove to the people that I did actually date it. There we go, diorama 020818. So these went in on the second of the thingy. If you're in America, the date, uh, month and the thingy is the other way around. All right, and if you pop back there. So these were planted up. Now if you're growing them, you wanna leave them inside for the first year. They do not like getting cold for the first year. They turn into these little grassy things and they take a lot, they might die away, they might come back again, but keep them in an unheated greenhouse or on a windowsill and, um, and they'll, they'll do all right like this. Now what we're gonna do to get them out, Marla, if you can spin up here and show people the fork. You use a fork and spin it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that underneath there and we're gonna sort of slowly pull that up, find out where the bottom of that root is. Ooh. You don't want to come up. There we go. And pull him up with as much as we can, like that. I'm just going to pop him down there. I should have got the pot prepared. Get yourself a little pot. You don't want to put it straight into a big pot. You think, why don't I just put it straight into a big pot? What happens is the water um, isn't drunk by the plant around the edges if you put it into a big pot. And so you'll start getting um, stagnant water around the edges of the the pot and, and uh, while the plant in the middle drinks it. So we want to put it into a small thing because we've only got a small little plant. And I lift him up, look at this, there we go. Pop him in like that, make sure all those roots are in, get rid of any nasty leaves and um, there we are. Give him a bit of a tap down and leave a little bit of a gap on top so that when he's watered it'll be all right. And that's it. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put that in a, the greenhouse uh, for another year I think I'm going to let, let that grow on then we're going to pot him up he's going to go outside and eventually after a few years we'll end up with beautiful beautiful flowers like this this has been Robbie Phoenix going on and on and on about potting up your diorama down at Stinky Ditch Nursery with Marla on camera thanks for watching